Lisa, I'm Kasha Jekma. Fupia Sheets. Or it can be uh, called as thin sheets which is being used to make spring rolls or even sometimes samosas will come out very well with these um, sheets. So let's look into how to do a very simplest and an easy method of doing this popia sheets. 1 cup of all purpose flour or maida, 2 tablespoons of corn flour, 1 tablespoon of rice flour, salt and water. Now we will start mixing the flour. This is all purpose flour. Corn flour. Rice flour. Well there might be a question like why we are adding rice flour. This rice flour is going to increase the crispiness of our spring rolls and plus it's going to uh, balance and so that they don't uh, absorb much of oil when fried. Some salt. Now mix all the dry ingredients. The traditional method of doing this is making a dough ball out of it and spreading it over the pan. Uh, but uh, that looks different so I wanted to make a very simple and an easy method just add water the texture should be of a free flowing consistency keep adding water in small quantities Heat a nice non-stick pan in medium heat or it can be even in low heat because these should not get burnt. So we are going to use it between low and medium heat. Now for the first time pour some oil. Onto this oil take some water and spread it all over. If you are going to just apply oil, what will happen is the batter what you are going to pour will just slide down. So what we are doing is adding and uh, seasoning it with light uh, water. Remove the pan from fire. Have it in your hand like this and then pour the batter. Take one spoonful of batter. Remove the pan from fire. Let it not be on fire. Pour it and spread it around quickly and fill in the gaps. Now leave it on the stove. You can see the color is changing beautifully. It's coming from transparent to white. Wait until they leave the sides and then slowly remove them. Once you are getting used to it, you do not worry about the flame also. You can keep, keep it, increase the flame slowly from medium. But you should keep watching. flows in the same proportion this is one more method for those who feel that they are comfortable more comfortable with rolling pour just half spoon of oil this is just the other method so I am not again showing right from the scratch like all the ingredients together everything same ingredients mix it in a bowl and make it to a chapati dough with less water Take a small portion. This is for those who are convenient with the rolling pin. Take it into a thin sheet. And now we are going to leave it into the microwave for just 10 seconds. Now look at the texture. 
structure there is no change only on the sides you can see some change so this kind you should remove it immediately from the microwave so just 10 seconds will do do not leave it for long time so dear friends here we have our thin sheets made on the stove with the running batter and here we have the chapati batter like and microwave so we have both this type of sheets with us you can go ahead doing spring rolls out samosas so dear friends try these sheets and adjust its consistency according to the flow of the batter and definitely i'm sure it's going to be very nice and it's going to be very simple also so that's it pizza always enhancing your taste buds thank you and bye bye